guys, Tom Photox here, and in this video I want to quickly go through a question that I get asked all the time on my comments on YouTube. Um, usually it's after I've done a video talking about Aperture and things like that, and it confuses quite a few people. But there's a really simple answer, and I'm going to go through it with you now. So the question I get asked all the time is, why won't my lens go uh, to an Aperture that you've got in your video? Now quite often in my videos I'm using lenses that I already own that are more expensive than perhaps you would get with your DSLR. Now this means that the aperture often goes lower on those than it does on say the kit lens that you get. So if you see on one of my videos that I've got say f2.8 on my camera that's because I'm using a lens that is capable of doing that. So many times people ask me if their lenses are broken or if they're doing something wrong because they can't get that aperture. Um, it's really simple, it's just that your lens can't do it. It's really that simple. What I'm going to go through very quickly in this video, I'm going to show you some different lenses and I'm going to show you how to tell if your lens is capable of going to those lower apertures. First lens we're going to look at is actually the kit lens, the Nikon 18-50. If you have a closer look at it you'll see there's a load of numbers on the label. Not only does it say AFS Nickel 18 to 50, then it's also got a load of other numbers after it. It says 1 colon 3.5 dash 5.6. Now to most people that means absolutely nothing, but it's actually very simple once you realize what those numbers actually mean. All these numbers are telling you is what the maximum aperture is that you can have. When I say maximum, I mean widest, so the lens is open as wide as it can go. So that's letting in more light, you get a shallower depth of field. So when you want like portraits, you want the background out of focus, you want a wide aperture, we call that the maximum aperture of the lens. So on this lens, the maximum aperture, well is it 3.5 or is it 5.6? The answer is actually both. And the reason for that is because this is a cheap zoom lens. Now, when you zoom, all the elements of glass inside the lens shift backwards and forwards. That's how it zooms. And because of that, the aperture actually changes as you zoom. Because this lens is mass produced and made so cheaply, they've made it so that the aperture just changes as the lens zooms. So when we're on 18 millimeters, the aperture, the maximum aperture is 3.5. That's the widest it will go. As you actually zoom out further, that maximum aperture will actually raise up. So by the time you get to 55 millimeters, the maximum aperture is actually 5.6. So that's why if you're watching my videos and you see I've got f1.8 or f2.8 on my camera, that's why I'm using a different lens. Let's take a look at a zoom lens that's not got a variable aperture like the kit lens. Now this is the Sigma 70-200 f2.8. If we have a close look at the writing on the lens, you'll see it says 70-200, 1 colon 2.8. And that means the maximum aperture is f2.8. And that is f2.8 whether you're at 70 millimeters or 200 millimeters. And the reason for that is this lens costs a lot more to make and a lot more to buy than the kit lens and they've actually made it so when the glass elements move the aperture can stay the same. Now you'd pay somewhere around £800 for one of these compared to maybe £50 to £70 for the 18 to 55 kit lens and that's partly because of the mechanisms inside the lens are so complicated to be able to keep that wide aperture that they charge more for it. This is another lens that I've got, this is the Samyang 85mm. This is actually one of the lenses that causes a lot of the questions because I used this lens on one of my guide videos. Uh, this lens actually goes down to f1.4, it's a really wide aperture. Um, this is a fixed focal length, this is just 85mm, so obviously there's no zoom. So that is why I can fix the aperture at f1.4 because obviously there's no mechanism in here moving the glass to zoom so you can keep that at 1.4 all the time. Another one of my lenses I've used in videos before is the Cosina 19-35mm. 
Now again, this has got a variable aperture when you zoom. On this one, if you actually take the lens cap off and look inside the front of the lens, it actually tells you, again, um, it's got one colon 3.5-4.5. So again, that means when I'm at its widest zoom, which is 19 millimeters, I'm at f3.5. As I zoom in to 35 millimeters, the aperture changes to f4.5. Okay guys, that's it. I hope that was helpful. I just want to keep this video really short and to the point. Um, if you have any more questions on that or anything else, don't hesitate just to drop me a message and I'll do my best to get back to you. Cheers very much guys. See ya.